Contender regime boxing checking back in with y'all man what's good so I was watching uh, Tank Davis and Frank Martin uh, million dollars worth of game interview and this was a shout out to Gilly and Wallow because I felt like this was one of their better interviews um, and I like the fact that they were able to get both guys to sit down at the same time it was low key like an, an alternative press conference where you got both guys in the same room and you asking them questions. And I thought Gilly did a great job of facilitating the interview. Um, and, you know, Wallow contributed as well. And so Tank Davis, he said a, a lot of interesting things during that interview. It was good to see the energy of both guys because at the actual press conference, you know, it was, I really enjoyed the actual press conference. The energy was dope. You could tell that Tank Davis came in with an intimidation factor. Frank Martin, you know, he stood his ground. And in the actual interview with Million Dollars Worth of Game, they got a little bit more in-depth. And Tank opened up even more. And Frank Martin opened up more. And you just saw both guys' personalities genuinely shine through. And, you know, a lot of people looking at Frank Martin and feeling like he's nervous and, you know, the lights might be too big for him or he might, you know, I've seen people say that Frank Martin looks scared. I think this is just Frank Martin temperament. He, he's just not no super rah-rah guy. But if you really pay attention to Frank Martin in that interview, sitting right there with Tank Davis, with Gillian Wallow, you know, he was he was confidently answering whatever question they asked. And when he gave his own thoughts about the fight and you know what it's like facing a a task like tank davis everybody knows the type of fighter that tank davis is and i'm sure frank martin is is very much so aware like he said i studied him i know how to do walk so frank martin seemed like he's super confident but his his temperament and energy just a little bit different from tank and he's at a different point in his career than tank tank right now is at the point in his career where he's He's fully coming to his own. He's had uh, multiple successful pay-per-views. This dude is the, the biggest star in boxing, arguably. One of the most skilled fighters in the sport. Uh, you know, one of the most complete guys. And he's 29 years old, about to be 30 this year. He's coming into that, that point to where it's like, man, look, I'm me. And y'all either just going to have to fuck with it or not. I'm coming here to win. I'm coming here to show y'all I'm the best fighter in the world. I'm coming here to put on the best shows and the best pay-per-views. And and Tank Davis is just, it, he's reached that that peak to where the mental, the physical, the, um, the preparation, the intellect, the experience, you know, the wisdom, everything is coming full circle. One might call it his prime. You dig what I'm saying? He's really, he's at that peak. And, um, you know, he just like, bruh, nobody can save you, you know. And when I hit you, everybody that came with you going to feel that shit. Tank Davis is at that point, man. He don't give a fuck. And he feel like his skills can be put up against anybody. And I like that energy. But he did say, as far as Frank Martin, he said, you know, you could tell that there's a mutual respect there. Even though all the shit that Tank Davis talking you could tell there's a mutual respect, and he see that that Frank got some skills. He know that Frank got some ability, but he also, in his mind, feels like Frank can't fuck with him. That Tank already been through everything to prepare him for this point. Talked about being under the lights versus Pedraza and how he performed. This your first time under the lights versus me. You know, it take you time to be groomed for this position. You're not ready yet. Tank understands. He understands that. I can do everything you can do on top of that. I got the experience at this level. And on top of that, I started when I was seven, eight years old. You started when you was 15. The the disparity in skills and experience is going to be apparent on fight night. These are all of the things that, that Tank Davis is putting out there. But he did say the only thing that can save or help Frank Martin is that guy standing right there. And he was talking about Coach Derrick James. Tank also recognizes and understands that that uh, Frank Martin got an elite head coach 
that could really cook up a game plan and make things difficult for Tank. Not only that, he understands that Frank Martin has the ability, the skill set, to be able to go out there and implement and execute that game plan. Will he be able to do it versus Tank? That's why they make the fights. That's why we got the date, June 15th, so we can actually see who's the best, right? But, um, you know, Javante Davis understands what's in front of him, and I think that's important. People might be looking at it like, oh, he brushing out Frank. He treating Frank like, you know, he overlooking Frank, thinking about Shakur and all these other guys that he named on a potential 6-7 fight deal. But I don't think that's the case. I think Tank Davis understands what's in front of him, but he just believes that he's at a level and at a point in his career where he can deal with anything that comes across his desk right now. And I love that energy. But he understands that, hey, if I'm not at the best of my game, that man right there, Derrick James, he can take this, this vessel in Frank Martin and make some shit shape. And if you watch Frank Martin fight, man, look, I'm telling y'all, Frank Martin has the ability to win this fight. He has the skill. He got the footwork, the boxing ability. You know, he got decent enough power. He might not have Tank Davis power, but Frank Martin can pop. And he got some dog in him, some toughness. The way he pulled out that fight versus Artem when he needed those rounds the most. You know, I saw how he performed versus Michelle Rivera, a really good fighter. I would match up Rivera versus any fighter that Tank Davis has fought up until this point. You dig what I'm saying? And Frank Martin went out there and made him look like he was levels above him. Um, I think that Frank Martin got every tool needed to be out to go out there and put on an upset performance versus Tank, and it's gonna take a, a great game plan from Derrick James for them to do that. You know, so we gonna see, man. I'm excited about this fight. Uh, them, them guys did a lot of interviews after the initial press conference, so that's why it's, it's more to break down on you know what was said. Um, the mindset and, and, you know, the temperament of these guys going into their fight, man, we, we, you know, we're a month out. June 15th, we're a little bit over a month out, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.